Hey, Scott. Hey, Jim. Most important thing for this fight is I want you to come out and be smart. All right, I want you to watch him close, establish the jab, hit him first, and let him know who's boss. Now that's sort of the key that's going to start a launch in the fight. Step number two, I just want you to simply outbox him, out kickboxing. I don't want you to come out there banging anything. Step number two is just come in there and outboxing. Right? <clears throat> number three, your fight strategy, I want you to hit him often, make him miss. Listen to what I'm carefully saying here. Offensive, defense, offensively. I just want you to see how often you can hit him, not how hard you can hit him, and make sure the sucker misses. Hit him off to make a miss. Hit him off to make a miss. Let that sink in. Just daydream on that. All right, the next step. Fourth thing about your fight strategy. Would you have somebody stand on ringside in the last 30 seconds around? I want you to pound that ring three times. Pow, pow, pow. And all I want you to just go up, come in there on the end. Flurry, step out, kick. Step in on a flurry, step out, kick. All the flurries that we worked on. Flurry the last 20, 30 seconds of each round. So you're going to steal each round that way. But Don, I want you to come out there tightening up now when you're flurrying. Step five, make sure you back the sucker up. Back him up. I don't think you can fight when you back him up. You've got to back him up. There's many ways you can back him up. Get off first. Don't let him get set. Hit him hard. Follow through. Stay quick. Hit him often. Frustrate him. Many ways of backing him up. Next, I want you to develop that wicked body shot. So in the back of your head, you planted a seed. Wicked body shot, wicked body shot. You're going to hunt for that midsection. You can step in there and just dig in right hand and dig that left hand in. I mean, dig. And let's do the work. Wicked, wicked, wicked. All right, I've got written down here step number seven. Now, your objective. There's an objective, there's a, there's a strategy. Your objective is mental toughness. I want you to concentrate on what I call solid concentration. Now that's your overall objective for the fight. Why are you going into the fight? You're going to work on your mental toughness. Now the purpose, the purpose of this fight is, and this is going to be your sort of your theme. Alright. Now your purpose is, this is sort of like your point of view. I want you to convince him what a real fight feels like. I want you to convince him <coughs> that the ring belongs to you. I want you to think about the idea, I want you to get out of my territory. How dare you attack me or even consider kicking my butt here in my territory. This is my property. That's going to be your attitude now when you go in that ring. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now remember this in the fight. The fight begins, the quality of the jab determines the direction of the fight. The amount of heart you put in Consistently, let me start over again. Kim's over there to distract you. The amount of heart you put in consistently executing determines the outcome of the fight. Now, I'm going to repeat that again. The quality of the jab that you come out with is going to determine the direction which the fight's going to go. But the amount of heart you put into your execution, your technique, is going to determine the outcome. So every time you fire, boom, put your whole heart into it. I'm not interested in speed. I'm not interested in good luck or anything like that. Okay, Rick.